So if we come here, okay, so before we, so this is the visualization on Chicago crime data for year 2015. I'm reducing the size of this this dashboard so that it can be accumulated green. So over here, you have different crime types like a theft, battery, criminal damage. So this contains the various crimes that were committed in Chicago in 2015. And this is a crime count on the y-axis or in the vertical axis. Now, this graph shows the crimes in 2015 by seasons. So like crimes were committed during summer, during spring, during autumn, or fall and during winter. And of those crimes committed in these seasons, how many were converted to arrest? Means how many crimes lead to arrest against each of these seasons, like summer, spring, fall, and winter? Also, the number of you know the number of crimes that were committed in across locations. Okay, so this is this dashboard has got these few metrics or KPIs. One is the crime types committed, the nature, the number of crimes committed across seasons, arrest made, and the location across locations. Now this is for the entire Chicago city. Now this dashboard, let's say, is passed to each of this district head. So this is the data of the city of Chicago, which has got 31 districts. Okay, and the district IDs are 1 to 31, which is listed here. Okay, so that's how it is, 1 to 31. District field over here says the police district, indicates the police district where the incident occurred. You can look in detail about this district in this particular link, but let's not get into that detail. So this dashboard provides times for in for all the, all the districts. Okay, and let's say this data is being shared with the district heads for, for understanding the nature of crime that happens in their district. Now, if someone is from district one, okay, uh, looks at the data, he would be interested, he or she would be interested in his or her area that what are the nature of crimes, right? So he or she will select, a particular individual will select district one. So if you take a look at district one, see the crimes got changed. So Initially, it is 57,340 for theft, 4919 for battery like that. So if you select, you see that 51,687 was for District 1, 47,605 for District 2. Okay. Similarly, for District 47,605 is for battery, uh, 27,943 is for criminal damage for District 1. 